Okay, I've mentioned this in a few videos, so I'm just gonna hop on and record it really quick. I know there's a lot of traffic outside right now, so I hope that you can hear me well. Um, I, this is part two to Venus square off Saturn. So I just looked at my notes finally, and I had noticed with, um, with a client. Oh, there we go. There's a loud car. Uh, I had noticed with a client one day and it was Venus square. It was Venus square Saturn. Um, they were having an affair for a long time. And I noticed with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, I'm pretty sure that they have the square and that's what made this click for me because, you know, I was looking into their sinistry a little more lately. And, you know, Saturn's usually the older person. And I know with Johnny Depp, he's the Saturn person here and actually it's squaring her Venus from his seventh house Saturn. So, um, kind of a divorce aspect right there in itself. But, um, you know, I had mentioned with them where she was saying like, oh, I'm with some old guy, da da da, and that, that was Venus square Saturn. Um, that can also be found in the opposition, but I do feel that the opposition and the square are very different in uh, this in this aspect. Usually they play out pretty similar, but the opposition's a little bit more subtle. So it might not be as in your face and it, those oppositions that break people like Mars opposition, Pluto, they really want to bond like the conjunction, but they, there's always like some kind of blockage or rubber band effect. Um, with the opposition where with the square, it's just like four years and, and, and just everything kind of comes crashing down four to six four to five years usually with Mars and Pluto with Saturn and Venus in the opposition that's where you're gonna get more of that attitude that she had that they do have the square I believe but of like oh some old guy um, a friend zone um, or suffocating so opposition you're gonna get much more of where it's like a platonic you know the friend zone you know where Saturn's like I'm such a good guy like you know I'm always there for you I'm the, I'm the guy friend that's gonna change your tire when you need you know I'm the guy friend that not I mean I had a guy that I didn't have that with who's that way too in a much more genuine way where I actually really liked him and we had a physical thing but um but it could be very much a platonic friend zoning that person that's always just um you know there for you but you just can't quite feel um physical towards them now it also depends if you have physical aspects or not so you could be physical and then but just kind of something about them is like suffocating or, or especially if you're venus the saturn person is going to be like suffocating overwhelming might seem too old and stuffy um there could also be issues with them kind of being restrictive with finances or again with kind of what i was saying with mercury square opposition venus which i just put out uh put the link oh, which side is it up here um <laughs> um it could be where Saturn just kind of smothers Venus's abilities to make their own money. But the weird thing is in the opposition, um, Saturn can be very supportive to Venus in a lot of ways. Um, the restriction it, and actually help them to build money. It can actually be kind of a constructive tension, um, help Venus to focus more and channel, you know, in a Saturnian hardworking way. Um, but still at the end of the day, they might like combine efforts and make a lot of things, especially in the arts in a very constructive way. But they, at the end of the day, Venus is always gonna kind of feel this heavy energy from Saturn, which could eventually wear on them um, if they're not totally put off by it from the gate and kind of, you know, standoffish. Um, but with the square, I tend to find it's more of an affair aspect with like, because Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were both in other relationships. Supposedly they're saying now like he was separated, but it wasn't in the public eye, da da da. I don't know, but um, he was still publicly linked to someone. She was still married and, you know, they were making out with each other. So uh, that was something I had seen with a client. And then I was like, oh, do they have the square? And so it clicked for me that and I, I feel like there was one other place that I had seen that. But I do feel like Venus square Saturn is very much. Um, and also, you know, Mars square opposition Jupiter can be sort of a fling where the two are in another relationship. But they just get caught up in passion and have like a one night stand. Um, and then kind of wonder about each other because they don't realize that they're never going to be together with Mars square opposition Jupiter. Um, but, you know, that can even be one where with Mars square opposition Jupiter, where whether it was an affair or it was someone they were with prior, it was like the one that got away type feeling. Um, again, I need to make like its whole own video on that, but I, it's in the Are You Wasting Your Time video. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard also had that. So I've touched on it quite a bit in their Celebrity Sinistry video. Um, so I don't want to go into it again, but yeah, with the, with the square here, usually the relationship's going to start as an affair and it may or may not, you know, it's like one of those, will he ever leave his wife kind of questions. Um, 
it, Saturn hard, Saturn contacts can force us. They make us feel obligated to each other so they can make us want to commit to someone even if that person at the end of the day is going to be a heavyweight to us or dead weight to us. So um, that's kind of like how Johnny Depp said like he, he left his relationship with Vanessa Paradis so he really wanted to make this relationship with Amber work. That's kind of that hard Saturn energy like feeling like he should be with this person that maybe isn't really good for him and actually even though he was Saturn made him feel more restricted at the end of the day with his Saturn being in um, the seventh house which is ruled by Libra which is traditionally ruled by Venus you know so even his own Venusian energy was it's like he was working against himself trying to commit to this Venus person and she was just kind of dragging him through the mud but that you know they say basically what I'm saying about will he ever leave his wife if you have Saturn a square Venus and you're you know in other relationships or especially like Saturn is married or committed they might leave their other relationship for you but um, just make sure that all the other aspects are pretty great here because otherwise it they might do it in vain and they might resent you for it you know um, it almost be better to be the one that got away that they always wonder about than have them up and leave their life and you two had all these other horrific aspects and they would have been better where they were kind of thing you know so I guess if it's just Saturn square Venus and everything else you guys have is beautiful you know you have a moon conjunction and you know Venus sextile Mars and you don't have you know any really jagged aspects then yeah maybe they could leave their other person for you and that would be a significator of it but um, otherwise it could just be one that actually because the heavy Saturn square gets them to walk away from a prior commitment because Saturn is our commitments um, to be with Venus and be in love and then you know if you've got Mars square opposition Jupiter um, Pluto square Saturn you know and don't have moon compatibility this person just pretty much threw away all their other commitments for something that was going to crash and burn which is what happened with johnny depp and amber heard so i do think the square is significant of a, a, a an affair or a relationship that starts in affairs where people leave other significant others to be together much more so than the opposition the opposition is going to be a little bit more of a friend zone like this annoying old person that's older person that's around or younger person that you feel obligated to take care of and you know you want to make it work but it's like um there's just something about it that's not quite clicking or uncomfortable um or you with the opposition you you can make it work if the if like say your moons are sextile and you have you know just maybe a couple like red flag irritating aspects but no deal breakers like you could live with this one but there are going to be times where you know saturn might make a financial decision that you're not totally comfortable with or or you know at the end of the day saturn's going to be kind of like the one with the prenup in lock you know that you're going to feel obligated to because um i'm thinking of a celebrity couple i'm not going to call them out but like where it's i could see where like they might have agreements where it's like if he decides to leave she gets a majority of it kind of thing so but he didn't ever plan on leaving because they have a great relationship so he stays but at times that might kind of wear on him type of thing um anyway so i think that about covers this i just i kept mentioning it and i wanted to flesh it out and it didn't take me too long so if you want to see part one i'll put the link up here wherever which side i forget i should know but all right and i'm sending you all lots of love blessings and light